That looks like hard work in these conditions. You need a hand? Well, yes, actually. But it may result in close contact with the wilds. Is that going to be a problem? I'm prepared to face men and beasts alike. Count me in. Ah, I can see it in your eyes. Well, I have taken it upon myself to study the wild beasts, but need more data to confirm two of my hypotheses. One concerns the multi-handed creatures, and the other the vomiting humanoids. What have you found out about the multi-handed beasts? One of my patients saw them in his nightmares before the flood. I can't visit him, but he must know something. Here's his address. Now, those hideous wretches seem almost... human. But what could turn one into such a monstrosity? Jim Bells, a patient of mine, was admitted to hospital with symptoms resembling cholera, but he turned into one of those things. Incredible. Here's the address. Find out what happened. Bye. Extra, extra. All the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper, mister. after visiting Dr. Grant, the shop owner preferred to self-medicate. Those bloodstains would definitely attract wild beasts.
don't think he's going to tell me much about those monsters. After visiting Dr. Grant, the shop owner preferred to self-medicate.
every kid's childhood dream. I wanted a toy like that too once. Every kid's childhood dream. I wanted a toy like that too once. The slime still looks fresh. I suspect Dr. Grant would be interested in it. Uh, 
Weeks have passed since this food was cooked. I have to go to work. Why can't you understand that? <laughs> Time to figure this out. How bad I feel. I have to go to work. Miss! John! You're... Oh, oh, oh. What is happening to me? How bad I feel. I have to go to work. Why? Uh, Miss! John! You. Uh, oh, oh, what is happening to me? The beast crawled from the sunken basement at night and infected the family. After a short incubation period, they turned into monsters too. I checked the house of the diseased man, Bells. His family has turned into those creatures, too. Huh. Fascinating. Did you discover the source of the contamination? A creature emerged from their sunken basement and transformed them. I think its vomit is contagious. Hmm. If so, we must quarantine it. Those Lethian revenants are a huge threat. This city could not survive an epidemic like that. What did you call them? Uh, Lethian revenants. Oh, you may thank the university professor for the beast's unwieldy names. 
I called into the shop of your patient. Unfortunately, he committed suicide. Oh, I wish I could say I was surprised. Sorry for wasting your time. It wasn't entirely a waste. I found some evidence that sheds light on the origin of those creatures. Uh, for what it's worth, Professor Westerbrook calls them Stygian Harvesters. But uh, what is it you found? Your patient's diary. His dreams became too real, too confronting. He tried to stay awake using stimulants, but... Those Stygians appeared near him when he slept, as if they were leaking from his nightmares. Hmm. A psychic phenomenon? Or manifestation? How unnerving. I'm afraid he's not the only one suffering from such dreams. I found your studies rather interesting, Dr. Grant. Got more places to search? What dedication. Thank you. Your findings have been a rich resource for the scientific cause. I've got two more places for you. More dangerous, one with huge monstrosities, but I'll prepare a comparable reward. Just what am I getting myself into? One of Oakmont's largest stores was closed after the flood hit. A looter tried to break in, but his thievery was, shall we say, interrupted. He was set upon by a huge wild beast and hardly made it out. The question is, with the building locked up tight, how did that creature get in? Ah, uh, what about the place with more manageable creatures? Well, there's a restaurant here with a bad reputation, not for its food, but for women disappearing. The police found nothing. I treated the partner of one missing girl. He arrived here severely injured and told me about the jumping maws. He was at the restaurant too, I suppose. Indeed. And what's curious is the place is still open. Please investigate and find out how that's possible. Bye.